Right now, your smartphone is in your pocket, on your desk, or in your hand. But what if I told you it might be listening to everything you say, tracking every move you make, and even selling your private data without you knowing? This isn't a conspiracy theory, this is real. And today, we're diving deep into the shocking truth behind smartphone surveillance, data tracking, and who's really watching you. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how your phone could be spying on you and most importantly, how to stop it. Section 1. How Your Smartphone Tracks You 24-7 Think about this. Have you ever talked about something random? Let's say, a vacation to Hawaii only to see an ad for flights pop up on your phone minutes later. That's no coincidence. Your phone is tracking you in five powerful ways. One, microphone spying. Is your phone always listening? Your phone's microphone can be activated without your permission. Apps like Facebook, Instagram, and even Google Assistant listen for keywords to personalize ads. In 2019, a study found that some smart assistants record conversations even when they shouldn't. But don't panic just yet. We'll show you how to disable this later in the video. 2. GPS Location Tracking Your every move is logged. Your phone always knows where you are even if you turn off location services. Google Maps, Uber, and weather apps track location in the background. Your phone's movement patterns can predict where you'll go next. Companies sell this data to advertisers, governments, and even third-party buyers. This means companies could know where you live, work, and even your daily habits. 3. App Permissions – The Silent Data Collectors Ever installed an app and just clicked Allow without reading the fine print? That's where they get you. Apps can access your contacts, photos, and messages without your knowledge. Some even take screenshots of your activity while you browse. A 2021 report found that thousands of apps secretly send data to advertising companies. Even flashlight apps have been caught stealing data. 4. AI and facial recognition. Your face is in the system. Your smartphone camera doesn't just take selfies, it's scanning and mapping your face. Face recognition data is stored by companies like Apple, Google, and Facebook. Some governments access facial recognition for surveillance. AI systems can now predict your emotions, age, and even health conditions from your face alone. This could mean a future where privacy doesn't exist. 5. Data Selling Your personal info is worth billions. Here's the truth. Your data is a goldmine, and tech companies are cashing in. Google and Facebook sell user data for targeted ads. Some apps track your messages, search history, and financial details. A leaked report showed companies making billions from personal user data. So if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. Section 2. Who is spying on you? Big tech, hackers, or the government? Now that we know how smartphones collect data, the big question is who's watching? 1. Big tech companies, the masters of data collection. Google tracks your search history, location, and even what you say near your phone. Facebook listens for ad targeting, even if you're not using the app. Apple claims privacy, but Siri still records some conversations. They say it's for better user experience, but at what cost? 2. Hackers. How they can hijack your phone. It's not just big tech hackers are a bigger threat than ever. Public Wi-Fi networks let hackers steal passwords. Fake apps can install spyware to track calls and messages. Advanced malware can turn on your camera and microphone remotely. If you're not protecting your phone, you're an easy target. 3. Government surveillance, how much do they really know? Governments worldwide have access to massive data networks. The NSA can legally collect phone data in the U.S. Some countries use AI-powered facial recognition for total surveillance. A leaked document showed that intelligence agencies can remotely access any smartphone. Privacy? It's starting to disappear. Section 3. How to protect your privacy right now. Now that you know the dangers, let's talk about solutions. 1. Turn off microphone access. Disable access for unused apps. Use airplane mode when having private conversations. 2. Disable location tracking. Turn off location services when not needed. Use a VPN to mask your IP address. 3. Restrict app permissions. Revoke unnecessary permissions. Delete apps you don't trust. 4. Cover your camera and use privacy screens. Use a camera cover to prevent unauthorized access. Apply a privacy screen to prevent shoulder surfing. 5. Use encrypted messaging apps. Switch to Signal or Telegram instead of WhatsApp. Avoid sharing personal details over social media. Section 4. The future of privacy. Is it too late? We're living in a time where privacy is becoming a luxury. 
But here's the real question. Is it already too late? With AI, surveillance, and big data expanding, the fight for privacy is just beginning. Will governments protect our data? Or will the world move toward total surveillance? What do you think? Is your smartphone really spying on you? And more importantly, does it even matter anymore? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more eye-opening content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you.